I love that Joy the Duck made an appearance on oh, one of those yeah. chairs. <laughs> All right, let's go check out the weather with Keith. Uh, looking nice today, but mm. rain in our future. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, for a while we were doing the rainy Mondays. I don't know what's worse, Tuesday or Monday. Like, I, I feel like Tuesday's. Kind of psych out. Yeah, yeah, Tuesday. You're like, oh, this could be a good week, and then tomorrow doesn't look good. We're going to talk about, depending on your location, the level of rain you're likely to see. Right now, though, it's a nice afternoon, so enjoy it. We've got several more hours left. 81 in Portland, 82 in Sanford, 78 in Bangor, 76 in Watervale. We had quite a few clouds pop up through the middle of the day, but it never felt really like it was a big problem for the day. Except for the mountains, they kind of clouded up completely. The rest of us just saw a mixture of sun and clouds. That has settled down, and the showers have as well. There were never that many of them, but there's a lot fewer over the last hour or so, and you can see the intensity dwindling too. That tends to happen almost five o'clock, and unfortunately, we hate to admit it, but as we get less daylight, that five o'clock, it gets harder to sustain these showers and storms around. So those will completely diminish over the next hour or so. We're partly cloudy overnight tonight initially, and then we end up cloudy by tomorrow morning. Tomorrow is going to come down to how rainy are we talking? It's not gonna be nice anywhere really, but Southern Maine is gonna be particularly rainy through the morning, through the middle of the day, because there's a coastal low kind of off screen down to the south here that's going to bring a lot of moisture through. So we're going to get clipped on the northern edge of that over southern Maine. As you get farther away from that low, though, especially into Rustic County, but really north of Bangor, there'll be fewer showers around. It'll be cloudy, but it won't be kind of a washout type of day that it's likely to be over southern Maine, at least initially. In the afternoon, we're cloudy. It's still showery. Temperatures are really struggling in the 60s. Maybe we get to 70 briefly, but a lot of the day is spent in the 60s. Overnight, we're about the same temperature tomorrow night. We can't quite kick it as a secondary low comes through on Wednesday, giving us a lot of clouds and quite a few showers. I'd say that tomorrow morning is the worst period of the entire week here but I don't think it's going to be great on Wednesday either. A lot of clouds, a lot of showers around. Again, Aristic County, probably the place to be here. The best weather over the next two days will be up that way. And then Thursday is a cloudy day, but it does settle down a bit. Temperatures get a little bit warmer and there's an isolated shower around. So there's that low that is going to be just drifting through tomorrow morning. And then a secondary low comes through more generalized on Wednesday with scattered showers around. Then our next system that comes through is on Friday, which has been a theme for over a month now. We've had a front come through on Friday. The question has always been, will the front get out of here in time for Saturday morning? So far, we've been doing pretty good with that over the last few weeks. The models are a little bit split on Saturday morning. This model, the European model, has some showers still around on Saturday morning, but it's tended to do that a lot lately and it's ended up being incorrect. It's been too slow. Well, the GFS model's been more progressive. So bottom line, we're playing the weekend mostly dry and pleasant. It is worth noting, guys, it gets pretty sticky during the rain, especially Wednesday and Thursday and into Friday. The weekend should be comfortable, mid to upper 70s to around 80 degrees on Sunday. You know what I'm gonna say though, boys? Where's the heat? Where's the real stuff? Turn it up. I don't see it. Um, and we're, we've got an interesting juxtaposition where we had a really warm July, top five, um, but we're just not doing it with any big banner days. Yeah. It's been just kind of I don't hear a lot of people complaining, though. No, about the lack of heat? Yeah. No, just me and Coco. That's it. The rest of the, rest of the, the state feels okay about not it. Not me. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Keith.